Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. In today's video, I'm excited. We've got another brand new product from the Body Shop. Of course, it is vegan again, and it's from the Tea Tree range. So it's a new moisturizer that is suitable for sensitive skin. So I'm really excited to try this brand new product out. Body, body shop, body shop, body shop. So guys, as you know, I've got dry, sensitive skin, but now and again, wearing masks, I am getting a few blemishes. I've got a little cheeky one on the chin as we speak. So I'm super excited that the Tea Tree range has now got a product which is suitable for sensitive skin. So this is the brand new Tea Tree In Control Hydrating Moisturizer from The Body Shop. So like all the launches at The Body Shop, it is again vegan, so I'm so excited about that. It retails at £9.50 and it comes in a 40 ml size tube so I think it's really reasonably priced for the amount of product that you get in there. So this is a lightweight moisturiser which gives 24 hours hydration because oily skin needs hydrating too. So this has been formulated to be cooling on the skin. Now apparently warm skin has more of a tendency to produce more oil so keeping the skin cool is said to help with the oil production. So I'm I'm super excited to see how this feels on the skin, if it feels cooling, if it feels like the vitamin C skin reviver and just how suitable it is for sensitive skin as well. So it's got the gorgeous Community Fair Trade tea tree oil in from Kenya and it also has Community Fair Trade organic aloe vera from Mexico. So aloe vera has got really soothing properties and tea tree has gorgeous natural antibacterial properties. So this moisturiser is recommended for oily skin but it's also suitable for blemished sensitive skin as well. So this moisturiser is said to have the consistency of the vitamin C skin reviver where if you've watched my channel before you will know that that is my ultimate favorite primer so i'm really intrigued to see how makeup will apply on top of this so it's not made to be a primer it's made to be a really nice lightweight moisturizer that gives 24 hours hydration but i'm really intrigued to see if it does work as a primer as well so i've already done my skincare today but i haven't yet moisturized so i'm going to be using this as my moisturizer today but because it is said to have that consistency of a primer even though it's not made to be a primer i will be applying my makeup straight on top of it and just see how we get on with it. So I really love that it comes in a tube. I think it's going to take up less space in your makeup bag and it's also really travel friendly as well. So let's see what it is like as a moisturizer. So I've been told that all you need is a pea-sized amount. So I'm going to squeeze a pea-sized amount onto my fingers like so. And then I'm just gonna massage it into my fingers and then add it to the face in upwards motions. Oh, it smells really nice. You can tell it's got the tea tree in, it smells gorgeous. And it does feel really cooling as well. It has a really funny texture to it, I think. It kind of feels like a gel. It doesn't feel to me like the vitamin C skin reviver and I use that like all the time but it does feel like a really nice soothing cooling gel so it does feel really moisturizing and cooling I'm just going to have a little look in the mirror I've got really dry sensitive skin and it's not stinging me in any way. My skin just feels really, really comfortable. So I would never normally wear a tea tree moisturizer because the tea tree range just isn't suitable for my skin. I sometimes use the face wash when I am breaking out due to mask wearing. And I also use the face wash to clean my makeup brushes like I did this morning. So apart from that, I never use the tea tree range but it does feel really, really nice on the skin. It's given me a really nice glow as well. Like the shine on there is absolutely beautiful. It's sunken in really well. The skin feels really nice and it does just feel like a really kind of 
comforting cooling moisturizer it doesn't feel too cool like my face doesn't feel cold but it does feel really really comfortable which is for my skin type i wouldn't expect that from anything from the tea tree range but it does feel really nice and my skin does look really nicely hydrated so i am going to go straight in and apply my makeup as i normally would i did two pumps of fresh new foundation on the back of my hand and I'm going to mix in a little bit of the drops of glow as well because you know I'm all about the glow. So it is running out so I do kind of just have to <laughs> scrape the pipette on the back of my hand and then let's just apply. So I like to just mix it up and then apply it to the face. Oh it does feel really really nice. I'm really, really surprised how comfortable my skin does feel. In fact, the face wash as well from the Tea Tree range, I was really pleasantly surprised by too because I've got really dry sensitive skin. Normally, something that has tea tree in would be too strong for me, but the face wash I find really, really gentle. So I'm just, oh, That is really nice. And it is blending in really nicely. It's sitting really nicely on top of the moisturizer. So I'm just gonna add some concealer. So you see the Fresh Nude Serum Concealer. And I've had quite a few late night box setting on Netflix. <laughs> That I really do need to hide those dark circles. I just wanted to see what my makeup would go on like over the top of the moisturizer. So I really like it. I feel like the skin still looks really nice and moisturized and it feels really cooling and comfortable. In fact, it feels more cooling once I've applied my foundation then when I just popped on the moisturizer, but it could just be that over time it does feel more cooling, but I do really like it. I feel with its coolingness, it would be really nice for hot summer's days. So yeah, the appearance wise, I really like it. I love how the Fresh Nude has gone over the top of this. I'm going to use the Own Your Own Naturals palette today because I just fancied something nice and light. So I'm going to go in with this colour in the crease because it's just such a gorgeous natural light pinky mauvey colour. So I'm just going to add that in the crease. <laughs> with a little bit of this colour as well, maybe on the outer corner. So I've just lightly added that with my blending brush. And then, do you know, I just fancy a little bit of sparkle. So I'm going to go in with this top colour here, this really nice pinky one, with my finger. I'm just going to apply it to the middle portion. Oh, oh took that a bit high. Go it's just light and elegant. That one is slightly crumbly, but it is really, because it's crumbly, it's really easy to kind of dust away any excess. I think I'm going to go in with this really nice light colour here in the inner corner. This brush here is going to add a tiny little bit of that yellow, put it right in the corner. 
right in there to kind of make the eye look more open and awake. <laughs> I definitely need the help to look more awake today. I don't know what it is with lockdown, but I always stay up really, really late. Apart from when I was going to bed at six o'clock, couldn't stay awake any longer with my anemia. Literally, I am just like a night owl. So just adding that right in the inner corner there. Just really subtle, real delicate. This is kind of like a really kind of natural eye look. Kind of looks like I haven't got much makeup on at all. But that is what I was kind of going for today. I'm filming this on a Sunday. I just feel really chilled out, relaxed. And I just want a really nice chilled makeup look. So I'm going to use the coconut bronze and use that highlighter as I always do on the brow bone because I just think it's so just gorgeous and subtle but really nice on the brow bone to kind of highlight just a real nice Sunday effortless look so whilst I've got the bronzer out I'm just going to get my powder brush and swirl it all around and do the bronzer as I always do. I'm so happy with that moisturiser, how the makeup is applying over the top of it. And my skin just feels so, so comfortable. So that is the side with the Glistening Glow powder on and this side hasn't got any on. And the side with the powder looks really really nice it looks kind of really settled and lovely and then this side looks really nice as well with just the fresh nude foundation on i'm just gonna add the bronzer to the other side as well i literally drop in everything again today i kind of have things balanced on my knee and then they end up just falling on the floor in fact, I dropped my MacBook on the floor just before I started filming as well. It's already got a strip down the side that's gone black and then I dropped it and the strip went wider. So on my MacBook, I have literally got a <laughs> three quarters of a screen to work with. So when I open a window, I've always got to move it along so I can actually see what I am doing. And that MacBook is like my baby. Like literally, I do everything on my MacBook. Like I edit all my videos on my MacBook. I mean, worst came to the worst. I used to edit my videos on my phone, but I do love editing on my MacBook. So oh my goodness, I really need to get my screen fixed, but then I don't have the time to get my screen fixed. Like I always need it for editing and stuff. How can I get it fixed? But I can't afford to buy a brand new MacBook. They are so expensive, but yeah. Or at some point, I'm just going to have to get it sorted out one way or the other. So I'm pretty sure in my recent videos, I've like forgot to highlight. So I must remember to highlight once I've done my blush. So I'm going to go in with the Shimmer Waves in O2 blush today for my blush. My standard go-to. I did use a different blusher last week. But I am back to the Shimmer Waves today. Oh, I'm really loving how my makeup is going over the top of that moisturiser. I really, really like it. So I will add a little bit of highlighter, the highlighting brush, and I'm just going to take it to the top of my cheekbones. I mean, you can see the shimmer waves already gives off that gorgeous highlight. I am just loving my makeup today. I know I haven't been so happy over the last couple of weeks with my makeup, but I'm really liking it today. I 
I'm really, really happy with it. So this moisturizer isn't really made for my skin. It is in the fact that it's for sensitive skin, but I only get a couple of blemishes around my chin now and again from wearing a mask. And I also have really dry skin as well. So I do need a moisturizer more like the CBD or the Drops of Youth, which is a bit more nourishing and moisturizing, but I do really like it definitely feel like the makeup's gone on really nicely over the top. I feel really comfortable as well. Like my skin feels really, really comfortable. It feels really moisturized. It feels really soothed. It doesn't feel tight in any way or irritated. So I do really like it. So even though it's a really hydrating moisturizer, it is made for oilier skin. It's helped to balance the oils out and the coolingness of it is meant to help your skin not to produce too much oils. So with that in mind, it's not a moisturizer that I would use every day. However, I do feel like it could be a really good moisturizer for me to use in the areas where I have got blemishes. So I definitely think if I get breakouts or anything, hormonal breakouts or breakouts from the mask, it is a lovely lightweight nourishing moisturizer that I could use on those times. But I think generally day to day, for everyday use, I will carry on using CBD and drops of youth and vitamin C. But on the days where I do have blemishes, I'll definitely use this because I feel it's really lightweight, nourishing, makeup sitting really nicely over the top of it and it feels really comforting and soothing and you know if, especially in summer it's just going to be really cooling so yeah I really really like it. Of course it is made for oilier skin and blemished skin but I love the fact that it is made for sensitive skin as well because blemished skin can be really really sensitive so I'm really pleased that they have brought out something that is really suitable for sensitive skin as well but I just love the appearance. I really, really like it. So as it's Sunday, I'm not gonna go all out with the lashes today and use the Fiber Lash Mascara. I absolutely loved it last week though. I'm just gonna use the Happy Go Lash Mascara, which has probably seen a better days because I've had this one for quite some time now. Does anyone else do that when you've got wispy bits of hair? You just end up painting your hair in mascara mind you I could probably do with it at the moment guys I hope my hair is looking a lot better today last week's video I think my ring light was on far too bright my, my eyes were really hurting after I'd filmed the video and then when I was editing I was like oh my goodness my hairs my gray hairs were just like sticking up on end so today I got the hairspray out which is something I never use I never use hairspray unless I'm like at a wedding so I got the hairspray out and I really smoothed down my baby baby hairs and all those grey so it's looking better to me on camera through my phone screen so hopefully my hair will look, be looking a little bit more presentable in today's video. <laughs> So the Happy Go Lash Mascara is really nourishing with that coconut oil. Oh, it's gone clumpy because I was talking and it's kind of dried out and it's definitely seen better days, this mascara. Maybe I should have just put the gorgeous glamorous fiber lash mascara on. Yeah, this mascara has definitely seen better days. It is a really nice mascara. Like, I'll definitely purchase it again. It's just the fact that I've had this one for absolute forever. I'm not going to tell you exactly how long. It's longer than suggested that you should keep a mascara for. Anyway, let's just put it that way. Right, remind me, this mascara needs to go in the bin. It's seen better days. It's been open for at least 12 months. So I really need to get rid of it. You should really ideally keep a mascara for three months and then throw it because bacteria can grow in there. But yeah, oh my goodness, I really need to get rid of that mascara. It's literally seen better days. It's gone really crum crumpy. It's gone really clumpy because it has dried out and yeah, it just needs to go in the recycling bin now. So when all the shops open back up, you can take all your empties, 
back to your local body shop, whether you bought them online or from your local body shop at home consultant. So I take all my old makeup pots and bottles and tubs of moisturizer, body butters, back to the body shop for recycling. I do recycle everything. So I will be taking that happy go lash back to a body shop when they open. So I'm gonna use Nairobi Camellia matte lip liquid today which came in the body shot advent calendar i just absolutely love this it's a really nice pinky nude color i think it'll suit like almost everybody and it's just the perfect shade for a lazy sunday Mm, it feels so creamy. I absolutely love these. My lips are quite dry at the moment with it being winter. So rather than using a lipstick, I'm absolutely loving the matte lip liquids and the lip glosses or lip juices. They give a really nice kind of subtle hint of colour, but really moisturising as well. So I'm kind of staying away from proper lipsticks at the moment. But yeah, I really like that. So this is my face before the rose dewy glow. So I'll bring you a closer. So I do feel like it looks really nice and moisturised. I feel like the makeup sat really nicely on it. Of course, I still got my poor issues going on. But I do really like the all over look of it. Like I say, my skin feels so, so comfortable. Having that as a moisturiser, I haven't put a primer on over the top and it still looks really, really nice. So I am really, really happy with it. So I am going to set my makeup with the Rose Dewy Glow Face Mist. Oh. smell of it i just absolutely love it so yeah i am really really impressed with this moisturizer like i said the makeup's gone on really nice on top of it I haven't used a primer it does feel really moisturizing and comfortable literally my skin is so dry and sensitive that if i was to put any product on the skin that is too harsh or too drying or the wrong kind of skincare for my face it really tells me instantly so if my skin doesn't like a product it'll instantly feel tight it will go bright red it will look like i've got a rash and it just feels really uncomfortable so much so that i have to go wash my face straight away if i pop something on that doesn't agree in my face but to say I've got dry, sensitive skin, this really does feel comfortable. And you can see for yourself, my skin doesn't look irritated in any way. And yeah, it just feels really, really comfortable. So I will absolutely use this as a moisturiser on days where I have got blemishes, especially even if I just use it around the chin area and maybe use my normal moisturiser like the Drops of Youth or the CBD on the rest of my face and just apply the tea tree here it's definitely an option for me so yeah i'm really really impressed with it if you've got oily skin then i'd love to hear from you how you found this moisturizer obviously i have dry sensitive skin so i can't test out on oily skin so i'd really love to hear from you what you think of this product if you do have oily skin and if you have blemished skin as well i'd love to hear if you think it's helped with your blemishes and i'd just love to get your feedback on this so either comment down below on this video or you can send me an email or message me on instagram or anything but yeah i'd love to hear from anyone who does try this who has different skin from me so guys i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you found it informative and useful and my goodness so next week is my youtube anniversary i cannot believe i've been doing this for a year i've had the best year ever making videos for you guys like literally videos has just made me so so happy connecting with you guys and making these videos has really got me through 2020 which was a crazy year i've had so much fun filming trying out new product getting creative editing everything i really really enjoyed it so guys thank you so so much for watching this channel i've already started editing a video for next week and i really hope you enjoy it so yeah guys until next tuesday i will see you all soon thanks guys bye body body shop body shop body shop oh.